There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. Let's turn this question on its head. The kidney controls blood pressure with the hormone renin. How does renin angiotensin system regulate blood pressure? So what if the kidney thinks it is not getting its fair share of blood? Do you think it will react with great bluster? So if diabetes narrows slash hardens all the arterioles in the body in the kidney sensed, it is not getting its fair share of blood. It will release these hormones to boost pressure and its share of blood. So I ask you. Which came first? Diabetes hardening the arteries and lessening their effectiveness to move blood and, therefore needing more pressure to move blood through smaller vessels, or the kidney sensing less blood flow and getting all pissed off about it, pun intended. Diabetes is obviously hardening of the arteries came first, but without diabetes, you are likely to present in the DRS office with abnormal kidney function and high blood pressure at the same time. Too late to definitely determine the cause. The high blood pressure may have caused the kidney damage or the kidney was getting sick and it requested more blood pressure to compensate which caused it more damage. Let's turn this question on its head. The kidney controls blood pressure with the hormone renin. How does renin angiotensin system regulate blood pressure? So what if the kidney thinks it is not getting its fair share of blood? Do you think it will react with great bluster? So if diabetes narrows slash hardens all the arterioles in the body in the kidney sensed, it is not getting its fair share of blood, it will release these hormones to boost pressure and its share of blood. So I ask you. Which came first? Diabetes hardening the arteries and lessening their effectiveness to move blood and, therefore needing more pressure to move blood through smaller vessels, or the kidney sensing less blood flow and getting all pissed off about it, pun intended. Diabetes is obviously hardening of the arteries came first, but without diabetes, you are likely to present in the DRS office with abnormal kidney function and high blood pressure at the same time. Too late to definitely determine the cause. The high blood pressure may have caused the kidney damage or the kidney was getting sick and it requested more blood pressure to compensate which caused it more damage. Hypertension usually begins at age 40. This is not 100% true. One of our sons had hypertension at 18 years old by 60 people with a long history of untreated hypertension begin to need dialysis due to end-stage kidney failure. So my guess would be about 20 years. There are younger people who are on dialysis but these are often due to other kidney disease at a young age. Untested hypertension is called the silent killer because it destroys kidneys and enlarges hearts over a period of time without significant signs or symptoms. Even telling people about this has little effect on their determination to change their lifestyle, mainly because there are no definitive signs and symptoms over the course of these long years and life takes precedence over precautions. Many people walk in with varied complaints only to discover with lab tests that their kidneys are no longer functioning. It is an insidious process that doesn't give any great warnings about. You have been warned. Just don't let this happen to you. There is no cure beyond dialysis, except for a kidney transplant. Hypertension usually begins at age 40. This is not 100% true. One of our sons had hypertension at 18 years old by 60 people with a long history of untreated hypertension begin to need dialysis due to end-stage kidney failure. So my guess would be about 20 years. There are younger people who are on dialysis but these are often due to other kidney disease at a young age. Untested hypertension is called the silent killer because it destroys kidneys and enlarges hearts over a period of time without significant signs or symptoms. Even telling people about this has little effect on their determination to change their lifestyle, mainly because there are no definitive signs and symptoms over the course of these long years and life takes precedence over precautions. Many people walk in with varied complaints only to discover with lab tests that their kidneys are no longer functioning. It is an insidious process that doesn't give any great warnings about. You have been warned. Just don't let this happen to you. There is no cure beyond dialysis, except for a kidney transplant. The nephrons in the kidneys are supplied with a dense network of blood vessels, and high volumes of blood flow through them. Over time, uncontrolled high blood pressure can cause arteries around the kidneys to narrow weaken or harden. These damaged arteries are not able to deliver enough blood to the kidney tissue. This will lead to chronic kidney disease. Source, slash slash Google, co, in slash search. 
Normally this is not what happens today as we know that when high blood pressure is conscientiously treated with blood pressure lowering drugs, no damage occurs to the kidneys. But I remember a professor of pathology in the late 1960s teaching that patients who are non-compliant, not taking their medicine, would damage their kidneys. His name was Professor Bull from Tübingen University in Germany. He said that kidney damage in these patients sets an intent of 15 years.